What's up guys, Reese here. Welcome to another video. With there, yeah, this is Iron Man Progress episode 47, I think. So yes, <laughs> once again, I'm sorry if it's a bit boring guys, but it's probably gonna be Slayer and Clues. The goal, the current goal, man, it's hard as an Iron Man just doing this. I wish I could just go to the G, but we're trying to get that hex crest and the other one, the uh something site, focus site. So once we get those, then we can do um Zamrak and Sarodomen. No, not Sarodomen, Zamrak and uh, Armadil, once we get those things. So yeah, that's the current goal, just clues, Slayer, until we get those drops. Then we can do some bossing and more interesting stuff, guys. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. I hope you do enjoy it. And if you do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like. Let's get into it, guys. So I finally remembered to bring the Ghost Hunter and the Ectoplasmator here. So should we be getting some extra damage on them and getting a bit of a uh, prayer XP along the way. So it's, that should be good. Shit, seven minutes, 27 spectres left. River of Blood mini event pre-release things coming out. Let's see if we can get there before that happens. So if I wonder if I can get this construction and prayer XP on an Iron Man. Hmm. There we go, did it, awesome. Good, 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 good. Final loot, anything special? 102 tasks in a row, look at all these seeds and stuff. How much run else we get? I mean, just look at the other herbs, even if like, 12 eras, that's good, 20, 21 ranars from that. That's in insane from one task, 21 prayer pots. That's incredible. Yeah, this River of Blood update's coming out, so of course we're going to have a look at this. Um, not the actual quest, like I said, the pre-release event. I wish I could do the quest. I've, I guess I probably could smash it out before the thing comes out, but I think there's a few high requirements, like 75 in like woodcutting and stuff like that. Still, it is coming out around the end of the month, but I don't know. I'd rather not rush it out, to be honest, or just do it in time when I come to it. I do plan on getting quest cape, I've said that, but you know, I'm not going to rush it. That being said, it is a really awesome quest line, but it's probably not awesome if you're rushing it and not enjoying it, you know? Oh well, I'm surprised. Normally this doesn't happen. I looked it up, uh, the update's now out, and all this new stuff you actually can't do it unless you've done the previous quest, which is actually pretty cool. I'm glad when I don't, don't have to worry about doing it. I can get back to what I was doing, but normally a lot of this stuff when it comes out, it's just for everyone anyway. Like God Wars Dungeon 2, no requirements, you can get all the XP and stuff like this. But yeah, you have to do all the quests up to the other one to get this, unless the plushies. You might be able to get the plushies for the override, but I don't really care that much. We'll see. Um, actually, I don't need to do that, but yeah, let's go get another task. Also, holy shit, this has all been reworked for, since the last time I logged out, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if the bridge was that pretty. That looks different. Oh, yeah, this is all different. <laughs> this is reworked since the last time I logged out. So, yeah. But, yeah, apparently these things I won't be able to even do. But, yeah, cool, whatever. I think that's reworked at least. It looks pretty different to me. Could be wrong. Let's go back to Slayer and stuff. Oh, well, this is still up. We'll quickly abuse this. Get another summoning level. Sweet. Nice, 56 summoning, still minotaur pouches. That's pretty good for my blue charms to use up, I think. Someone said to use minotaurs for charms. I don't know if they meant steel, though. I think it was Addy minotaurs, they said were good for Iron Men. Where is he? Shout out to Red Eyes Black Dildo, mate. And of course, flippin' PvP. So we got Congealed Blood. Now, I thought that only dropped from the new monsters. That just drops from everything, really. That's drop that sells for about 6k on the GA. But as of recording this, it probably sells for nothing. It's not as of use yet until the update comes out. But that's very interesting. Not sure what's going on. And they finished this task on a world record of 12 years. What a boss. I knew they changed the, the entrance of Canifers. I didn't actually go into the middle. Have a look at this, guys. Where's fucking NXT when you need it? As of this video's recording, it might even be out, to be honest. But look at this. This looks pretty good, and this, is, this, isn't, this isn't on NXT, man. We need NXT ASAP. This is sick. Look at this new Canifers. Also, let's just not change the fact that someone's been fucking hung right there. So is this a children's game? How dare you? This triggers me. Trigger warning, Jagex. WTF. With this guy, most underrated YouTube, need more views. <laughs> I can't say no myself. Looks like they added on this little part for the event, I guess. Oh, there's the monsters right there. Let's attack one of these ghouls. I thought they were underneath, or are these just actual ghouls? I don't know if these are the new ones, or these are just ghouls in general. They look spooky, though. Look at that. Disgusten. There is if this update uh, bugged out with a Canifus update. So I got a bow cut. If I like, it's updated so bad I can't even do it. Well, I don't know exactly where the center is. So, spam around. I have to dance, I'm a noob. So then you know, bow curtsy before you talk to him, maybe loot here. No. Oh. oh, come on! Stupid laggy internet. Nope, no loot. Right, so we got this key, let's happen. This should be the loot. It really should be. I'd be surprised if it isn't. What was. I mean, we got some loot. I didn't get to see exactly what it was. 
I mean, it's Adamant Longsword, Green DI Chaps, and actually a Addy Placecut H1. So that's actually really good. That's another thing for the collection of actual, like, clue scroll items. Alright guys, we got a Tazar task. Oh shit, I just realised. Holy crap, actually. Oh no. Shit. Fuck. Do I do it? Shit. I give it a go. I've got, like, no bruise or anything. Range. Mage. I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking this over. I'm honestly thinking this over. What can I use? I mean, should I just give it a go? With, like, f skeletal? I don't know, man. I know it can be done, but it's like a big waste of supplies if I fail it. I do want some bruise. Even I do think I may have some bruise from, like, some tasks, but do I have any restores? You know? Fuck it. Let's, t let's give it a go, guys. Let's give... <sighs> Let's give Jad a go. This task is now, this video is now turned into a Jad task. Let's fucking do it. Here we go. If I fail, the only thing I care about is just wasting time and uh, resources on my Iron Man, to be honest. Also, I'm doing this on World 49, a bit of a hard mode Jad. So, yeah, I think it should be fine. Like, I have I did it on Darkscape around this combat level, except the difference between Darkscape and this is that I had a bit stronger gear. Except on here, of course, I don't know, it should be easier based on the fact that I have... Re regenerate so that saves me food because that's the main thing I ran out of I ran out of food not prayer pots and I've got the other thing which gives me the the shield ability which gives me like health uh, rejuvenate so rejuvenate plus regenerate plus a bit of Excalibur every now and then they do share a cooldown rejuvenate and Excalibur but yeah put the defense on of these low level waves got some bruise some restore some normal, some normal prayer pots and yeah let's get into it nah no, I've fucked up my prayer already look at this what a noob. Also, I tried to buy Vampirism Aura, except that couldn't, because you need, like, 20-odd-K bloody loyalty points, like, 25K, and I only have 17K. But, yeah, wish me luck, guys. I'll see you later on. I think I should be fine, like, food-wise. Just have to sit around the corners, use Regenerate and stuff like that. Should be, should be more than okay. What's even easier is that I have access to, obviously, the abilities, so I can regen and stuff like I was saying, but, oh, I can also do things like Asphyxiate, so I can stun certain minions and stuff like that they're coming at me so that's going to be really useful man like wave 10 eight minutes in pretty much wave 64 at this point or whatever at this point though what i'm thinking the only thing that can go wrong obviously besides prayer switches on jad is that me running out of prayer beforehand that's the only thing i can think that will go wrong my favorite ways of the whole jad thing is just these melee ones because they're so easy and they just get stuck on things like it's ridiculous there we go we made it all the way to wave 22 without needing to drink or use anything yet so that's pretty good, I reckon. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, like I say. So I don't know. I think we'll be fine on prayer, really, even though we still haven't even used any prayer yet. But look how easy this guy is. This is what I'm talking about. Look. Mate, he's not even stuck behind anything. He's just stuck behind my mad fucking stuns. Using that War Priest, I should have brought my fucking Crystal Boy for the Switch for these mages. Because there's going to be a lot of them now. But yeah, there's 31. Up to the mages. These are the guys that... If I'm going to take damage or die or whatever, it's going to be to these guys, I reckon. But I'm seeing to be tearing through with them pretty quick with range. Like, I'm pretty sure this might even kill it. Just kidding, that splashed them. But yeah, so we're at way 31, using a third dip of, third dose of prayer, do, uh, prayer pot pretty much halfway through, I'd like to think. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, except I'm going to be praying pretty much um, all on out here because, you know, you can't really turn the mage prayer off or you're going to get, like, two hit. If you're not paying attention, they do hit pretty strong. All right, it's getting a bit more dicey now where I'm trying to... I'm taking damage from um, the Rangers, Maliyas, well, the shitty Maliyas, and the Mage at the same time. And because Protection Prayers, this is honestly, um, well, it kind of equals out because you've got things that are generating that. But this, honestly, Fight Case may be easier on our, I mean, Old Screw Inscape, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, unless, obviously, high gear on here, you just solve everything. But yeah, like, your Prayers don't... People like like to say, I'm not saying, you know, RS3 is, I mean, Oscar RuneScape's easier than RS3, but everyone likes to say RS3 is easy escape. But there's one thing they forget is that the, they change the prayers, so you don't you don't protect 100% of damage from prayer anymore. So it actually does make a lot of things more difficult. Luckily on Jad, it does protect 100% of prayer, but even stuff like this, like the mages, they just hit free your prayer, you know? So it does make it a bit difficult. Getting there, guys. Wave 50. Here we go. Come on, boys. That's pretty much Jad, right? Wave 50. Supplies are looking pretty good. Pretty good, I reckon. Yeah? Not bad. Once again, I'm up to those, like, good waves where I've just got the mage at the moment and then, like, this guy. So it's just, like, easy safe spotting. Trying to regen when I can as well. Like, take this moment to regen right here. 
The only time I've really uh, drunk Sour Bruise, because obviously I'm using my regen really well, is when I'm in the middle of combat and I'm taking damage. I don't drink it when I'm out of combat. I just try to always regen like that. Even if I stop halfway through a fight like this, and I'm just like, oh, I've got a hundred adrenaline. I'll, I'll step back for a minute and get some health back. So yeah, I've been using it to the most I can. And more waves. Let's go, guys. Yeah, I should never run. I shouldn't. If I run out of supplies, I'm a fucking idiot. So now that's just the main thing is uh, Jad. So yeah. Malie guy, I was attacking him, I froze him, I first uh, asphyxiated him, and I thought, oh shit, great, I've frozen him. Except, no, he's stuck on the fucking major. So I didn't even need it. <laughs> my prayer, I mean, my inventory over for when it gets intense with Jad, so I can quickly, you know, like, boom, boom. I should use uh, keybinds, but, you know, it's it's not good to try something new in, like, a clutch situation. Obviously, keybinds would be better, but, you know, I've never had prayer keybinds, so it's not good to go from no prayer keybinds to prayer keybinds, even if they are better. So I'd rather just have to do that if I have to quickly brew, just move from there. So hopefully it goes all right. I mean, I went all right on Darkscape, went all right in the fight kiln on Darkscape, went all right on Old School RuneScape. It did take me a bunch of attempts on Old School RuneScape, but that, that was mainly due to things. So I don't know. If I don't get a shit spawn in that, I don't know. It should be okay, really. Guys, here we go. Fire Cape. No, wait. That's a Slayer level. Fuck. 78 Slayer. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. We'll take that as a good omen. Guys, really is easy scape over here. My f I fucking even meted this boy. I was so ready for him, you know? Alright, I wasn't going to commentate the whole thing, but I was like, as soon as I was halfway through it, I was like, okay, this is easy. Just the old instincts kicking in, I'm alright. Now, this is where it's interesting. I'm not sure I'm going to... Because you have to kind of lock him. So I'm not sure if I want to lock him or I want to try to out DPS. I'm going to try to out DPS. I mean, I'm going to try to grab all the healers and lock him in. There's one behind him. Got it. Failed that one? No, I didn't. Yeah, try not get hit by Malie. So actually, I'm gonna walk him over here. Don't know what that hit was. Is it gonna register? Okay, so got the healers. Get that healer off. There's one underneath him. That's gonna prove troublesome. That was a stomp. Other than that, I don't know. He's full HP now. So I'm gonna try to walk past him. Shit. Don't know what he just did. He stomped. Okay, now he could fuck up. I'm just trying to get the healer off him, you know? That's what I'm trying to do. If I can get that healer off. Alright, I grabbed the healer. Shit. NXT, this is what you need NXT for. People say, why do you want NXT? How about that? How about a Jad you can see? What if I just try to out DPS one healer? That could work. Let's try to out DPS just one. And let's get to it. Just one. Whew. Okay, it's so close, man. So close. We'll try to, yeah, like I said, we'll try to out DPS one if we can't lock him around. I mean, we're doing some good DPS. We're smashing him. Looks like we can out DPS one. Like, he should be healing. Actually, I think I've got his aggro, to be honest. I think I've got this in the bag here. Yep. Another melee hit. Yeah, he's, he's dropping. He's dropping, mate. He's absolutely getting demolished. You can probably hear it in my voice. I am, you know, I'm trying to put on a fa fa facade. I'm like, oh, it's easy scape. But, you know, I'm really am shitting myself. Debilitate. So if we fuck something up. You know what I mean? Then we're not going to really miss a switch. We missed a switch. But that's because when I was moving, I was trying to, you know, like, anticipate if it was going to melee me. That's the only reason I feel like I missed a switch. But there we go. Fire cape achieved. Watch us die right now. Come on. There we go. Hour and 20 minutes. Lovely. 105 tasks for You get a big drop at 20, 25k Slayer XP right at the end there. Awesome. Ah, so happy I got that. I'm just, like I said, the main thing I was scared about was the uh, just running out of supplies, honestly. Like, and then just failing the cave and then having no supplies to go again. But there we go. 16k toggle. Fire cave. Now, the same thing that's dawning on my mind now, same thing when I got fire cave on Darkscape is now, it's like, well, I have to go to a kiln now, don't I? So, no excuse, you have to. Need food, man. You talking to me? I'll say no, sir. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like it if you like it, subscribe and see more. There is the fire cape coming in. 25 armor, 2.6 strength or 26 strength, 2 prayer. Alright, good luck. Happy skilling. What's this guy on about? <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Happy skilling. I just came out of the fight cave with a fire cape on.
happy skilling. <laughs> Appreciate it though, dude. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Happy we got the fire cape done. That is, but like I say, I feel like I'm forced to do fire kill now, but I think on this counter I don't even have the requirements to do the quest. I think you need some high mining or something like that. So we'll try to not do that for a while. But yeah, fire kill is even easier than fight case to be honest. But it's the same thing like that. That was an hour and 20 minutes. Easy. Didn't stuff up. All got all these supplies left. But I'm so scared doing it. It wasn't even long, an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, I would spend two hours at a Water Fiend task and it feels like nothing. But that hour and 20 minutes is like so painful compared to that AFK two hours at a Water Fiend, you know? But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for everything. Like, leave a like, subscribe and see more. This video went off on a bit of a tangent. Started off doing some Slayer ending us. Ended off with us doing Jad. So, you know, worked out. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll maybe finally get around to the stuff we promised in the next video of like the Hex Crest and stuff. And it's just down to luck and task, really. But yeah, see you guys. Thanks for everything. Bye-bye.